Hey y'all, this is TCA Gaming, and we have more booster packs to open up. You guys seem to have really uh, picked up on these legendary treasure booster packs. Um, I think the video actually aired today where I was showing it, and they immediately um, had sold out. There are technically two available art sets, and that's just because the people who bought them didn't pay when they checked out, so they might become or come back onto the site, but I imagine by now they've probably been picked up by somebody. But we have a few other packs that we're going to open up, and we're going to start off with this set of legendary treasure packs for Kiwi Pokemon. He's been here before. Let's see what he has. Look at that. Four packs. You guys seem to really like these uh, the art set type deal here for basically the the low end price of a Wizards of the Co like a single Wizards of the Coast booster pack. So I might be offering out more of these if I can find them for a reasonable price. I know I've had requests for Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and sets like that. Make sure I get the code off. And then I think what we were doing is we we're taking one two cards off of the back. Right, because that'll be the two uncommons. And then we'll also do one of the Radiant Collection, because this will be the non-hollow. But it still has that cool, like, texture type deal. Well, it's, it's kind of like a texture, but, you know, it's got that starry pattern. Alright, Oshawott. Ooh, you got a hollow. You got Goth Tail. And a Seismitoad. Really nice. And then for the rare hollow, or the... Radiant Collection Hollow, you got a Gardevoir, man, that's just so cool. So we'll definitely get both of those sleeved up right away. It's neat how they, you know, put that kind of, what is that, like lace or something going on in the background. Alright, pack number two, already hit one Hollow. See if we can get another one in this pack. I'm betting by the time this video comes out, PWCC, their auctions probably have ended. There's a lot of stuff, man. It's crazy to think about how much stuff did they get through their consignment. There's one uncommon and another one. And then we have Ursa Ring, so that's the uh, Radiant Collection. Card. Oh, we got another hollow. You're two for two. You got a single if, and so far everything has been psychic. And then you got a rare Fion, and oh, you got an Eevee again. Well, you didn't get an Eevee again, but that's another Eevee that we pulled from this box. Ooh, that one looks pretty nice. Much better condition. I think it was one of the Pikachus we originally saw that had like almost like a cutting issue. And then there's the Sigilef. Okay, two more packs to go. Nobody's pulled one of the gold cards. <clears throat> Almost revealed that code card again. I'll, I'll make sure to show you guys a few after uh, this pack. I think I've got some more set off to the side here. Alright, a Bofalant, Servine, and Ralts. Oh man, another hollow. Three for three on the hollows. And then, oh, we got something peeking through back there, Miss Magius. And another Miloetta EX. So we put a sleeve on both of these. I really like this Kiram. And then there's Miloetta. You know, I was really surprised. I was talking with some kids for career day. And I think I mentioned this in the last video. But. Like, they don't care about their original cards. Like all of them, like they just want to know the they just want to know information about the newest Pokemon. I mean, I was getting asked what my favorite fighting type, my, my favorite rock, um, what was it? What's my least favorite Pokemon? Is Greninja the most strongest? Is well, Mewtwo was brought up, but nobody cared about Charizard or Pikachu. I mean, they were saying Pokemon I didn't even know from Generation Eight, like a Dynamax. I didn't know who that was. Um, how many Pokemon there technically are? I don't even see. I don't even know that. They were catching me with stuff that I had no idea, you know, what the deal was. So here are some evolution codes for you guys, and then we have one more pack to go, and I'll make sure to show some more codes here shortly. But not the customer's legendary treasures. Okay, there's a Crustle. And Servine was. 
This reminds me of that guy from <clears throat> from Maui, uh, for from Moana. I can't even think of his name now. But that big crab who sings, "I'm shiny." God, there's Mencino. That was one of the RC cards. Oh, look, and he got a regular one too. Oh, another hollow. You went four for four on regular hollows. That's pretty crazy. Then you got a Zatu and a Growlithe. Nice. So you got one EX, four regular hollows, and then your other Radiant Collection hollows, you got a Growlithe, Eevee, and a Gardevoir. So not bad, man. I think you did pretty good on your pulls. Mr. Kiwi Pokemon. Put your codes in there. All right, here's a few more codes for you guys. You know, after I pull the camera back in, looks like these are Breakpoint. Got some XY going on here, and also forgot another one of your packs. Next up, we have another four Legendary Treasures packs. Still hunting one of those gold cards. So this is Carnage B. 4X Legendary Treasures, and his shout-out was don't forget to like and subscribe down below, everyone. Well, I appreciate that, man. And then here is his art set. You know, I will, I, I was pretty surprised uh, at how much of a difference it did make when I, when I mentioned, you know, just to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It definitely helps out the channel. It's something easy you can do just to keep these videos pumping out. I'd gotten down to the a couple weeks ago where I was only pulling in like 10 subscribers a day, which, you know, at least we're increasing, right? But I guess my pack opening videos had gotten too boring. Man, look at all those Gibble. That's a bunch of them. Mistrevis, Magikarp. Got another Servine. Curlia, and we have another Ursaring for the Radiant Collection. You pull a Reverse Hollow Gothita, and then a Rare Fion, and a Stunfish for the Radiant Collection Hollow. I'll say that's, uh, that, that was not a great pack. I mean, didn't get a hollow, didn't get a hollow or an EX. And then the, the rated collection hollow wasn't that great either. So, But at least you've got three more packs. Let's see what you're going to pull out of this one. Well, I revealed your code there, Carnage. So if you wanted to keep that for yourself, once you see this video, go ahead and uh, activate it. Crushing Hammer, one of the better trainers. Curlia, and got a Mencino. Snivy, Reverse Hollow Gibble, and oh, nice. You got an EX, White Curum EX. Definitely uh, much better than the, the last pack. Oh, and you got a Miloetta EX. You got the regular Miloetta EX as well. So you got a double EX pack. Legendary Treasures setting the standard for the future. Well, I guess not the standard, the what you want from a booster pack I guess you could say because you could do that you can get the double in generations I can't remember if you could in shining legends or not and I know you could in champions path and uh, hidden fates and shining legends all right but you got two EX is very nice Let's see what we get out of this one looks like these codes are turned around or maybe I'm just turning around the pack all right, we got Charmander, Krogunk, Gibble. Oop, <laughs> got a Reverse Hollow Zekrom. I skipped a card there. Rare Miloetta. Got Sableye, Gothrita, Teddy Ursa, and then let's see what your Hollow RC card is. Oh, you got a Gardevoir. So that's the second Gardevoir we've seen in this video. We'll sleeve up Zekrom too, since he is a Reverse Holographic Rare. All right, last pack for you, Karnik, and then we're going to move into some of the more vintage stuff. Black and white legendary treasures, technically rounded out in Generation 5, but it is argu arguably one of the most fun sets to open up in all of black and white, hard gold, soul silver, all the way back through the EX series, just because you've got a decent chance at pulling something cool out of it. Gibble, Solosis, ooh, nice looking Emolga, Prinplup, and then Teddy Ursa. Oh, you got yourself a hollow Garbodor. And this has the Garbotoxin famous ability. This Pokemon has a Pokemon tool card attached to it. Each Pokemon play hand in their hands 
and their discard pile has no abilities. When the version in Breakpoint, I want to say it was Breakpoint, come out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Breakpoint. It was one of those XY sets. Yeah, it, it got heavily, heavily played, and uh, even still, I mean, this is still a powerful ability. Got a rare Milueta and a Sencino. So we didn't uh, end off on a crazy note, but you did pull two EXs in a single pack, which was really cool. We haven't seen that yet for these Legendary Treasures packs. We'll put that up in here. One, two, three, four. One of the last art sets that was purchased, it will be a mixed art set. I showed you guys that at the beginning. I think there was three of the Mewtwo, or there was two extra Mewtwo's. So it was like three Mewtwo's and one of the other three that was in it. And so um, I saved that one for last, but I made sure to specify it on the website just to make sure that whoever buys it, they know that they're not, they're not getting a full art set if they were trying to save the packs for a collection or whatever. All right, going back in time, we're back to Generation 3. We have an EX Emerald, and this is Lars again, Mambo Cards. That's his YouTube channel. He bought another one. He just bought one, I believe it was yesterday. And he's going to take another chance at pulling a Hollow or an EX card. So let's see if we can get him one of those. Yeah. Alright, so we have Vulpix, Electric, Metatite. Ooh, we got Battle Frontier. I think someone else was looking for this card specifically. It's really cool. It's got a lot going on down here in the picture if you try to zoom in. Got Breloom. I think it's just two. I almost revealed that last one. Snorunt. Oh, nice. You got a Gardevoir. This is the reverse hollow version of it, but this is actually like a regular hollow normally. It's the number four, so in my opinion, you've got the better version of the holographic uh, Gardevoir with this. And then for the next card, oh, you got the Rayquaza too, or Rayquaza. I saw somebody making fun of me uh, in the last, uh, in one of the comments, in one of the recent videos. And yeah, that's pretty much how I say it, Rayquaza, <laughs> Rayquaza. Oh man, double pull. Looking pretty clean. Wow, yeah. And let's look at the Gardevoir too. Both of these are really nice pulls. Congratulations on that. You didn't get an EX, but wow, that's a, a really good uh, pull in both of those spots. So let me put these up. And then we still have one more pack to go. It's going to be hard to top that one. But we do have a base set pack. This is for Scott C. And he wrote down <clears throat> at Scott Cinderquill. So like Cinderquill, that's pretty cool. Uh, but he says that's for his Twitter, his Instagram, his YouTube, and his Twitch. So I haven't looked this guy up yet, but if he has all that, you know, he's probably got something going on because I don't even have a Twitter or a Twitch. I've got an IG and a YouTube, and that's a lot for me to handle. So hats off to you for having all of those at Scott Cinderquill. <laughs> but here's uh, our unweighed base set pack for Scott. Let's see what he gets. I'm ready to pull an Arrowwood Hurdle. All right, Magnemite. Oh, I got the Squirtle. Nidoran. Kadabra, really nice. Pokédex. Caterpie. Machoke. Switch. Got a couple energies coming up. Big Yellow. Fighting. Ooh, we got the Electabuzz. It didn't pull the Hollow on this one. That little, yeah, it was like a little dot. I was like, is that an ink dot? But. You know, you've, there's six regular Pokemon for the rares, and then there's ten trainer rares. So if you pull a non-hollow, most always, well, not always, yes, five out of eight times, you know, it's going to be a trainer. What is that right there? Okay, that was just a little dot on it. Same thing on the back side. Well, sorry you didn't get a hollow, Scott, but you did pull a Squirtle. That was really cool. And you got that Electabuzz. I would say that the Squirtle would be my favorite pull. Then probably the Kadabra, because I really like Kadabra. So I'm going to sleeve that one up, too. Anyways, I hope everyone enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll try to have another one tomorrow. Thanks.